What's up everybody? So I'm currently at the park right now with Bruno, my seven-year-old pit bull, and uh it's a toy. And if you guys watch any videos on him, I always mention how he's more toy driven and food driven. So we're just gonna get some some random training. Where you go? Oh you ran behind me. We're gonna get some random training here at the park. Uh just you know, make him work for his toy. And uh yeah, why not record it? Go! So I just wanted to throw it one time just to, you know, boost his interest in the ball. He loves playing fetch. Just going to have him hold some sits and stays. Nothing new, nothing crazy, nothing you guys haven't seen before in dog videos. Uh, Bruno. Uh, sit. Sit. Bruno, sit. Stay. right now we're just going to make him hold it stay and he's going to wait for his break command which is come on and um i said it quietly so he didn't hear me but you know break commands can be different it could be free it could be break it could be come on whole point is that once you release your dog from the position reward them instantly so you know they know that they're free to do whatever come on go good boy he loves playing fetch, like really, really loves playing fetch. He'd probably prefer me throw the ball for him rather than me, you know, giving him a treat after me, <laughs> telling him to do something. Good boy. Having fun. Good boy. Uh, go. <laughs> I act like I threw it. Run up. It's right here. Sit. Sit. Run up. Ah, uh -uh. sit. Stay. Stay. So I can just about get him to stay from anywhere on this field. I could probably cross the whole field and he wouldn't move. He might like maybe reposition himself a little bit, which isn't really what you want your dog to do, but I'm not really tripping. I know that, you know, if he does reposition himself, he's just gonna sit back down once I tell him to. So um stay. Right now, he's just watching, watching my every move as he should be, waiting to hear a command. Come on! Go! And he knows he's going to get his reward once I, you know, release him from the position, which is, you know, the most important part when working any position, holding, training things with your dog, you know. Once you release him from the position, reward them instantly. They know what's coming and leave it. So we're gonna have him hold a position on top of a bench. Good boy. Come on. And I talk about this a lot, but find out what your dog likes most between treats and food. I mean treats and, and toys. Figure out what if they're treat driven or toy driven. Use that to your advantage. So um sit. Bruno, sit. Sit. Stay. Stay. So he has no issues holding any positions on platforms, which is another thing you really want to train your dog because you never know when you might, you know, service dog, for example, they have to go all types of places in public. So you never know how many flights of stairs or anything else they might have to climb on. So teaching a dog to hold positions on platforms is very important too. Come on. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. We'll have him hold a stay position again on another bench, this bench right here. Good boy, and then we're gonna go on top of the other bench. Good boy. Oh, he's gonna trip me over. Come on. Sit. Sit. Bruno, sit. Bruno, sit. I will admit, Bruno, sit. His sit is a little slow. But I got it when I was 15, you know, I'm mature enough to admit, you know, I got it when I was a kid. So a lot of stuff I should have worked on with him, I didn't, you know, I'll be 22 this year. So that falls back on me with his sit position being, I mean, his sit being a little slow, but he does sit when I tell him to stay. I'll climb on top of this other bench. Stay, ah, 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 sit, sit, Bruno, sit. Just as I mentioned, he was gonna move just slightly, but I'm not tripping about that as long as he, you know, went back to doing what I told him to do. Come on. He thought I threw the ball this time. 
He heard his release reward and he was looking for a reward instantly. Come here. Bruno. Come here. Good boy. Go. So yeah, but that's just, I mean, that was just really a quick video. I was working some sits and stays at the park. It wasn't really, I try to do more informational videos now. You know, just as I mentioned, my channel is not really a huge channel, but I have people who watch it here and there. So I try to do more informational videos compared to the random videos that I used to do when I was younger, which I watch today and it makes me cringe a lot. But <laughs> I just really try to do more informational videos. The whole point of me saying that is that this really wasn't an informational video, just some dog training, some random dog training in a park with my seven year old pit bull. And that's probably what I'm going to title the video. Anyways, catch you guys later. Peace out.